Hi folks, on this episode of Hit The Mahogany we are going to do a uh, cocktail that was popular in the 80s and 90s and to be honest it should still be pretty popular nowadays. Uh, it became a little bit more popular when uh, there was a particular series about women who uh, did various things in a big city. Uh, if you've been able to suss it out, it's the uh, Cosmopolitan, otherwise known as the Cosmo. Uh, so I, I looked into a little bit of the history of this one, and I, there, I, I can't memorise all. There's so many different options and where or thoughts about where this actual uh, cocktail came from. You know, my favourite one, because it's reasonably local here, is uh, P-Town, Provincetown. And that's where it potentially started, then spread across the country and the globe from there. So I think that's that's a nice little touch. It's the same with any cocktail, I suppose. I think it's fantastic, the idea that one location, one bar or one person can come up with this drink and uh, it just spreads globally. And uh, it's something that becomes either a classic cocktail or, uh, or a modern classic cocktail as well. I'm sure in a hundred years, many of these will just be seen as classic cocktails and there'll be new modern ones. Anyway, uh, this one, uh, the base of this, is actually vodka. Uh, you want to get your hands on citron vodka if you can. If you don't, you can still use a uh, regular, or uh, sorry, if you're going to use, if you've got regular vodka, no flavours in it, use that. If you can get citron vodka, get it. It adds a nice other facet to this drink, okay? It just brings out a little bit more of that citrus and there's a little bit of, even though it's citrus flavoured, it does give a little bit more sweetness to the drink as well. Uh, Okay, let's get started putting this together with the vodka. All right, I'm actually making two of these. So it's one and a half ounces per drink here. So I'm actually going to put three in total. Okay. Two. And another one. Now, as you can see, I must have been keen on this citron vodka at some time because I got this very small bottle here. Uh, it's actually, it's nearly finished, so it's been pretty popular one way or another. I do use it in quite a few different things. Uh, all right, vodka. Uh, what we're going to do now for the colour, it's actually cranberry juice. This is core to it. Now, what you want to do, I've already got it uh, measured out here. This is actually going to be one ounce of cranberry, cranberry juice per, cranberry boost, cranberry juice per drink. So I've actually got two ounces in here. Uh, I, I do use uh, these squeezy bottles. Get your hands on these if you're going to be making a lot of cocktails. You can put your lemon juice, your lime juice, or any of your like simple syrup or anything in these. They'll, they'll keep just as long as in any other container. Uh, you know, you can pick these up cheap. You can also use these for uh, icing and cake decorating and stuff like that as well. So, a few different uses. Alright, the cranberry juice, make sure it's unsweetened. You want a tart cranberry juice. Maybe that's an appropriate word for the... Uh, uh, the program that I was referencing earlier on there. Uh, touching upon that, of course, this makes it a really nice sort of pink hue to it. And I think there's a little bit of a stigma that, you know what, maybe there's a particular gender that actually prefers drinking these than others. To be honest, you drink whatever you like. That's all that it comes down to, and that's the same for what you want to put in this, the vodka or whatever. I actually quite like this one because it's, uh, it's pretty dangerous because it's easy to drink as well, but uh, it's refreshing. It's not too. It's not. It's not too sweet. It's got a nice, just sharp tang to it. So it's just a really nice one. Just give it a shot. Don't knock it until you try it. All right. Uh, we've got uh, <coughs> lemon juice here. So this is half an ounce of lemon juice per drink. So that's one ounce of lemon juice going in there. A uh, triple sec, Cointreau triple sec. This is uh, so it's an orange liqueur, but it is a triple sec as well. Uh, you can use any kind of triple sec that you want. Uh, the only thing that I would recommend that you don't use would be something like a, like a Grand Marnier. The base of the Grand Marnier is not a neutral spirit, spirit, it's actual cognac, and it's going to affect the flavour of this drink too much. So skip the Grand Marnier, get Cointreau, get yourself any other triple sec that will actually do it, or orange liqueur, whatever they call it. Okay, so this is going to be half an ounce for each of the drinks, so this is going to be one ounce of Cointreau going in there. Nice and easy. That's it. There's nothing more to it. Uh, I'm going to say again, you got, you, you got your lime juice, unsweetened cranberry juice, you've got to get that, citron vodka, triple sec, Cointreau, whatever you want to do. That's it. Done. Jobs. Jobs are good. Ice. Let's 
get some ice in here. In here, and we're going to shake it to chill it and to dilute it as well. All right, just for this one, done. I'm actually going to uh, double strain this. The reason being is the ice layer that I had, there was a few smaller chips in it, and you don't want that floating around. Now, after you pour these, there's a few people if you want to. You want to make the drink last longer and you're at home, maybe out in the bar, drop in a couple of ice cubes extra if you want after you've poured it. You know, it's up to yourself. You drink it how you like it. Extra shake just for the sake of it, all right? Here we go. Let's get this poured in. That is looking nice. That's got an excellent colour to it, definitely. Let's not waste any. Get the most out of it. Of course, like any of the cocktails, you can increase the ratios, you know, if you're making a, a drink for more people, just increase the ratios, it'll work. Just depends how much capacity and if you can hold the weight of your uh, shaker when you're making these, okay? That's it. Do you need a garnish? No, but you know what? Lemon slice will actually do the trick very nicely as well, though. You know, as they say, you, uh, a... Hey, you taste with your nose as well. So, you know, the, having the lemon on the side there, this one's actually split. Uh, yeah, well. uh, uh, because you're tasting with your nose as well, just that scent of the citrus coming off that just, uh, just kicks it up a notch, okay? All right, let's give this a little shot here. Hmm, you know. You get the lemon vod coming through there, the citron, a little bit of sweetness coming from that. The Cointreau, or the uh, your triple sec, will sweeten it again. And then you've got the lime juice and the cranberry juice just pulling it back down again. So it's an interesting one. It's almost it's almost like a sherbet texture to it because it's like it's like a sour sherbet or something because it's it's sweet and sour at the same time and it's just very refreshing. Uh, It's just a great drink, it really is. Uh, again, pretty dangerous as well, so be careful with this one. Drink responsibly with this. Anyway, uh, if you're going to drink this, you're going to be thinking about sex in the city. Don't want, don't do that. I mean, the city, you know, depending on where you are, that just sounds, it just sounds grubby. It really does. Maybe a town or a village. Maybe that might be a little bit more appropriate. But either way, a few of these, you're not going to care, to be honest. Uh, so. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, be careful and uh, enjoy your cosmos, okay? Cheers.